this is the last week of the Dalahiva card, guys. So, um, this last few weeks, we've been showing you how to get from Dalahiva to deep half guard. So, we're going to link this to last week's move and just show you a few different options. So, we're going to look at two escapes side control, bottom, and mount bottom, getting into the deep half, and then hitting an escape and then link it to last week's move. Okay, so again. Um, at a beginner's level, you know, most of you guys will T-Rex your hands, okay, and this um, left hand will be on the shoulder because when I get my grip on his shoulder, I'm going to be driving Carl's, or my cross face, my left shoulder into his face, so this hand here will keep my shoulder back. Sometimes that's not always a good thing because you can expose yourself to the wrist lock, whereby I'll use my chin to pin his wrist. Okay, I win the underhook with my right hand, my left's coming up, and if I grip this, pull it out, get two hands on it and drive my shoulder into cars, I've got the wrist lock. Okay. So a better um, defensive position, and again, obviously from side control of cars making frames with his hands, I mean, I can get two on one and try to get my Americano, I can be looking for the cross choke in the lapels. So, thinking about defensive postures, and again, even when Carl is, just trying to remember, a basic escape from here, when he keeps his hands T-Rexed, is he's going to use um, the leverage of this right elbow to hip escape this way and put me into the guard. Okay. So, we're going to keep that right elbow in the same place, but um, his left hand is going to grip his lapel here, okay, and latch on it super deep, and then he's going to grip his sleeve like so which takes away this option of me trying to get the Americano. And if he's looking this road, okay, with this grip on the inside of his right jugular, it's very difficult for me to get a grip in, and also on this side. So this is a good defensive posture. Okay, uh, to give you a second, this is at a beginner's level, to think about how you're going to escape. And again, because he's got this inside elbow, okay, he can do that same escape and put it back in the corner, which is always a good thing. Okay, so, um, but sometimes that's very difficult, that um, hip escaping and putting the guy in the guard, okay, because um, when Carl moves his hips, I'm going to move my hips, so I'm, as, he, as he creates space, I'll be filling that with my knees, so sometimes we need other options. So, let's position this. Okay, so same thing guys, I get my defensive postures, I'm like this, okay. I want to be super deep with my left hand grip because when Carl tries to put the cross face in, okay, I have my elbow nearly in his face, which means it's difficult for him and uncomfortable, okay. So from here, okay, I've still got the control with my right elbow on his inside hip. All I'm going to do is bridge, okay, and when I drop my butt to the mat, I'm already hip escaping. My left hand's coming underneath. When we get the grip on the band again, we were showing you in the warm up how we could do this hip shovel drill. Okay, again. When I come to here, it's most likely Carl's going to put a whizzer and overhook on that arm. So when I use my hips and hip shovel and cut his base, I have to sweep the bridge. Okay, so. From here we're going to look um, at a different option, we're going to go to deep half guard, so I get my, my grips, my defensive posture, car tries to go in the cross face, I bridge, drop my hips, as I drop my hips I hip escape, I get the underhook, okay, from here, my left foot is going to come over the top, I'm going to snag car's leg that's closest to me, here, okay, from here I'm on my right side, I'm just going to pull car, Here. And again, we've been playing with this this last um, few weeks. We want to keep our spine straight. I want to keep the back of my head in his left thigh. Okay, my right hand is going to grip his left hip, pulling it down, putting pressure on it. And my left foot is going to keep his foot off the mat, which is going to off balance him. Okay, my right foot then is free, and I can either bring him forward or backwards. Okay. In this case, guys, we're going to look at the double lapel sweep, which is a good option. So my right hand is going to open up his lapel, pass it to my right, and I'll lift his, his leg up, grip, thumb up, my right hand, 
Okay, he's gripping on his um, the lapel is closest to me. And from here, I'm going to switch my hooks from my left to my right. Here, put my foot on the mat. Okay, I'm going to bridge. And as I take the car to his back, my left knee's coming inside. I'm in my double lapel sweep position here. I'm going to drag car onto my hips from here. And when I shrug, shrug my shoulders to the side, this hand, my left hand, that has the lapel, I'm going to bring it under his butt from here. Okay? My arms are in an X position. Okay? So if Carl tries to turn into, oh, into me, okay? my forearm across his back, stopping it, tries to turn away from me, it's going to be very difficult with this control. Okay? We're going we're gonna to take the back from here, so I'm just going to free him a little space. He try to turn on me, Carl. He can't. Okay, so I'm going to let this off a little bit. And as he comes to his knees, have my hook in. Okay, and we've shown you these guys a lot of game from here. I'm going to secure harness control, bring it to me, and I'm on the back. So, yeah. Defensive postures, I want my left hand super deep. So I've nearly got his elbow in his throat. Right hand grabs my sleeve. Car tries to put the cross face on. Okay, I bridge. As I drop my hips, I'm just escaping onto my right side. I'm winning that underhook. Okay, from here, I'm gonna snag his leg with my left foot. And then I rotate from my right side onto my left side. As I move into my deep half car position. Getting my grip on the hip here okay left foot's keeping his foot off the mat i always want to i never want him to be able to put this foot on the mat because then he can put weight on me and the other detail we've been trying to emphasize is this hand here i don't want him under hooking it because then it's going to lead into a lot of problems so i think at a beginner's level i'm just going to keep it under here or i can grip here as long as i keep my elbow tight okay so we showed you how to get to the back from this position last week. We're going to go for sweeping on his butt. So I'm going to open up his lapel, pass it from my left to my right, making sure that this is super tucked. With this leg, bring it underneath, re grip with my right hand on the far side, and I'm going to switch my hooks. I can still bridge and take him this way, but I think I have a lot more leverage from here using this foot. Okay? So when I bridge and kick him off, I'm immediately putting him onto my hips. And because I have these grips, again, we can go straight into how we taught the double lapel, or the double lapel pass. But from here, okay, I shrug and I bring his, his, my grip underneath his back. So my arms are in an X. My left forearm is across his back. Try to turn into me, car. It's very difficult. Try to turn away. But I'm going to let a little bit of slack off. Okay, and as he's turning, my right foot's coming under his hip. Okay, and then from here, we showed you lots of things. I can secure my harness control from here. If I want to take on his back, I can hit back attack. Okay, so we've lots of different options. One more time. Defensive postures. Bridge. The underhook, snag his leg, put him in the deep half guard, and his lapel, switch my hooks, bridge, put on my lap, keep my grips here and here, okay, and I'll slacken this off so he's only one option to turn away. And when he turns, there's no space under his right hip, but as he comes to his knees, there's the space, my foot's already coming underneath. Okay. Expose his back. And then I'm on him. Okay, so that's my side control escape, the deep half guard, guys. To the double lapel sweep, to the back. Stroll for more.